Andy Cohen has been under fire for the way he treated Monique Samuels on the reunion of Real Housewives of Potomac. People were not happy with the way he treated her and people were even speculating that he is not a fan of black women. For those of you who don't know what happened, let me give you a brief history. Last season on the Real Housewives of Potomac, Monique Samuels hit Candace like hit her as in physically. Uh, Candace is our co-star. They were having an argument and she took the argument to the next level and started uh, a physical fight. So there was a lot of drama because of that. Uh, Candace started therapy because she says she was traumatized because of the situation. So in the reunion, Andy Cohen was asking Monique a lot of questions and fans of the show claimed that he was really hard on Monique. They were pointing out that Andy is not the same way with white stars of Real Housewives like other franchise. There were physical altercations with the other women but he never made it a big deal. But when it was a black woman that did it, all of a sudden it was the biggest thing that ever happened on the show. So people were dragging him for that and they dragged him so much that he had to come out and say that he was hard on everyone and it was editing that didn't show the full story. So no one bought what he said, but Monique spoke out and said he was just doing his job. I have to say, from the footage that they have shown us, at least in the reunion, the reunion had three parts. We've seen that Andy was pretty harsh and hard on Monique. He was even asking her questions like, your husband doesn't get a lot of money anymore. So like why do you say that like a condescending comments and she shut that down she actually told him my husband invested so yeah we're pretty good this little check that um bravo gives us it's nothing so he was hard on her i felt the same way too so i understand the fans when they say that and if you've watched any real housewives franchise you'll see that there have been physical altercations and yes they've talked about it but it was not magnified the same way it was for monique and that's just facts that's footage we can just bring up and show and how bravo or andy cohen handled it so that's why fans are really pissed and dragging andy but monique came out uh, during an interview I, I believe in a podcast she said no um i don't think he dislikes me but he was doing his job yes he was focusing on me and he was asking a lot of questions but um i don't think that's the case and he was just doing his job so she came out and defended him so what does that say she quit the real housewives of potomac so it's not like she has anything to lose she's already gone so she could have just told us the truth I don't know if she's covering for him or telling the truth but why would she cover if she's already quit and it doesn't make sense right she has nothing to lose basically so she came out and defended him so now maybe her fans will stop dragging him maybe they'll continue but she cleared the air for him but anyways guys do let us know do you think andy cohen um dislikes black women because this also brought up a conversation and people were saying he treats black women on that show differently than their white co-stars so that brought up this conversation and a lot of people were saying yep he's really hard on black women do let us know down below if you think Andy Cohen uh, dislikes or hate is a strong word but I've heard and I've seen people use that word black women and do you buy that or you think he was just doing his job as Monique said let us know down below I am Wingil Zalal and bringing you this report I'll see you on the next one bye